Yo, yo, what's going on? Hit that plus sign in your range window. Let's pull up this menu and see what we're working with. Super saw is okay. I'm not, I'm not really a big fan. Um, Direct wave is my favorite. I use that the most uh, because that's where I play back all my samples. But then you have um, mini synth, GMS. Don't even really know what that is. Transistor bass. You can get some nice bass sounds out of that. Your IAA slash audio bus to use third party instruments. Um, the, drum, the drum sequencer is pretty good. Um, audio clips, if you wanna just bring a beat into your session or a loop, like straight into the arrange window. And then you have an aux track. And of course your audio record, cause you can record a full blown song right here on your phone. So tap the middle button on the right side of your arrange window to open up your channel rack. The blue arrow is to change the sound, but right now we're gonna focus on the red arrow. Hit that to open up your menu. The menu is pretty straightforward, but I do wanna point out the replace section. Um, that's gonna be the easiest way for you to swap out your current plugin for anything else that you wanna use without having to create a new instrument. All the plugins have their own effects section where you can, you know, customize your filters and really make the sounds your own. I'm going to make a more in-depth video specifically about this section, but for now, just play with it. Have fun and just use your ears. Press that minimize button so you can make this plugin smaller. Then hit the plus sign and pick another one. Try experimenting with layering your sounds. This is, there's no rules. You gotta have fun with it. Well, that's it for this one. If that's been helpful to you in any way, please just hit that like button, subscribe, share it, comment. Y'all know, y'all know the drill. I appreciate it. Let me catch y'all on the next one.